Now, hope for a vaccine for the coronavirus. On Monday, big news came from the biotech firm Moderna. With its announcement, its trial vaccine triggered an immune response in the first people it was tested on. Other studies out of England and China are also on the fast track, but scientists worldwide say larger clinical trials are needed to see if these vaccines can actually protect people. And as that vaccine race continues at record speed, Med Ferris is checking in with a local doctor who himself is working on a vaccine. As chief veterinary medical officer of the Tulane National Primate Research Center, Dr. Skip Bohm is one of the doctors working on a vaccine for this SARS-2 coronavirus. And the number one question he gets is when will one be ready from any company? In my opinion, I don't think we'll have one by the end of the year, but I'm hoping uh, that um, I'm wrong uh, there. But he thinks early 2021 is possible and believes scientists are on the right track. I'm optimistic and uh, my colleagues are optimistic that we're going to have a vaccine. There are over 100 vaccines that are known uh, to be in the pipeline. Uh, and, and I think there are plenty more than that out there that we just don't know about. There are private companies and biotech that are working hard. Dr. Bohm says the fastest vaccine was for Ebola. That took four years. Typically, vaccine development can take 10 or more years. The speed of developing this one is unprecedented, the fastest the world has seen. There is far more collaboration on a, on a wider scale than there has been in the past. Uh, and what that does is it expedites uh, what we learn and how quickly we learn things. And as for the volunteers who are among the first to get a vaccine in clinical development? I would say you have to be, um, you have to be brave to do this. And I think most people that do that uh, feel that they're, you know, they're helping uh, mankind, and it's true. Meanwhile, in Covington at the Tulane Primate Center, Dr. Bohm and his colleagues are successfully studying infected primates. They get infected, as we do, from airborne droplets and contaminated surfaces and shed the virus like humans from the nose and throat for a long time. Another thing that was uh, similar to humans is that most of the animals uh, didn't get sick, visibly ill, uh, and, but there were, there were a couple that did. And those were the older ones. All of these tests are necessary steps toward developing a vaccine. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. In that study, Moderna reported 45 study participants who got that experimental vaccine. They developed a strong immune response to the virus. The Centers for Disease Control has updated its guidance when it comes to your risk of catching COVID-19 from things like doorknobs and credit card keypads. The CDC is now stressing that the virus spreads mainly through person to person contact and does not spread easily on contaminated surfaces. Assistant Louisiana Health Officer Dr. Joseph Cantor says just because it doesn't account for the majority of coronavirus transmissions, people still need to be careful around high touch surfaces. And when you do have a touch of surface, so if you walk into a building and have to touch the door handle, remember that you got to use hand sanitizer really quickly before you touch anything else. Dr. Cantor also says as we reopen stores, restaurants and offices, it's important to keep public spaces clean. He recommends businesses sanitize hard surfaces throughout the day and make sure employees wash their hands.